My name is John, welcome to Auto Shenanigans, and you're watching Britain's Abandoned Roads. The A602 in Hertfordshire is around 15 miles long and links the concrete-clad Pikey Hitchin, passes through beautiful Stevenage, and on to the town of Ware. But it hasn't always been like this. Over the years, it's seen many changes with bypasses and relief roads being added. And today, only a short section of the original route remains, which you can drive or see just coming out of Stevenage, heading through the village of Hook's Cross. I'm just down the road at Watton at Stone, where the A602 used to run right through the village before a bypass was built in the 80s on farmland to the northeast. It used to run down to Hartford, but that changed with the introduction of the A10 and the Tonwell bypass in the late 80s. Back then, before all of these changes, the A602 would have followed the route of today's A119. So today on Britain's Abandoned Road, we're taking a look at a short section of Abandoned Road that used to make up the old A602 before the bypass was built. It sits just between the A119 and Church Lane, south of Watternet Stone. If you are heading down the A119, you would be forgiven for missing it completely as it really isn't visible at all. And at the other end, a gate. If you look closely and follow the cat's eyes, they actually follow the route of the original road. It's not clear who owns the road today. It sits in some woods on some land marked as private. So I'm definitely trespassing. Thank you. 